In this video, I'm just going to define the actual window size, background color, and origin point of your program because that's something important to cover at the basic level here. So first off, whenever you make a new program, you're going to get this ellipse, uh, drag your mouse around and draw a circle thing as you go. And the very first command and setup is this create canvas command. You always need to have this because what it does is it actually sets your window size. So for example, if I were to uh, just comment out this command as if it wasn't there, um, we now no longer have a, a, a ellipse that's reacting normally. We no longer have our window size. It's kind of freaking out here a little bit. So let me put that back. And what it's saying is that we're going to create this canvas or this window. That's the window width and the window height of your actual device. This is the default. So whatever size your screen is, it's going to go ahead and automatically create a window that is that size. If you were to change this to say something like 500 by 500, well now it's going to create a window that's only 500 pixels. So if I were to drag my mouse around, notice that I can't go past this point, or if we go all the way over, it stops here and it's now centered inside. So again, it's no longer the entire size of my window. It is this 500 by 500 pixel size. And you could actually set this to be the size of your device or again, use the default window height, window width commands. The only downside to doing window height, window width is when you wanna place something very specifically uh, on an area in the screen. So for example, if I wanted to put this ellipse perfectly centered, um, I don't really know how wide the pixels are necessarily. So if I could do something like this, 400, 400, um, it's going to place this ellipse here because of the width of the window. If I were to set the window height and window width to say 500, 500, it's going to go to a different spot because now it's a different size. So it's important to know what size window you're working on. So I actually prefer to set the window size manually rather than using the default width height commands. It's also important to identify the origin point. So where is zero, zero? On a coordinate plane in math, it would be perfectly centered. In processing, it's actually in the top left corner. So if I were to put this ellipse at zero, zero, notice how right up here in this top corner, uh, we have this ellipse all the way up here, perfectly centered. So that is the origin point in the top left corner of your screen. Um, it's also, I want to point out what this background command is doing. The background command is actually setting, of course, the background. And zero is black. And white is 255. And this is using an RGB color value. So you can go anywhere in between, like, for example, 200 to get a shade of gray. Or you can combine RGB colors. So, for example, red, green, blue. If I did something like 255, comma, zero, comma, zero. Uh, this will go ahead and actually give me a red screen. So you can combine your color values to make virtually any color combination you'd like and get a random color screen using this background command here. And it's important also to point out that background could go either in setup or draw.